In this final lecture here, what I want to do is I want to talk about for your project, for your assignment two here, how you observe patterns for this. Okay, so you know we want to answer the following questions based on the scatter plot that we have. Okay, so first off, um, define x and y and which variable is useful in making the predictions. Well, what we saw here was that x was the square footage, and y was the um, the median listing price. Okay, so the median square footage and the median listing price. And, and really what's going on here is that the median, the X variable here is the one that's used for predictions. So what we're saying here is the median square footage, okay, is a great predictor of the median listing price. Okay, and that's what we're, what we're, what we're seeing in our scatter plot as well. Is there an association between X and Y and describe the association you see in the scatter plot? And in my scatter plot, absolutely there is. What, what I'm seeing here is there's a positive, looks like a positive linear relationship. And what that means is that as median, median square feet increases, so does the median uh, listing price. And that's what you would expect, right, for homes is that larger homes have a higher sale price. Okay. What shape do you see or what do you see as the shape? Well, in my graph, I definitely see that linear shape. Okay, it's not perfect, right? It's not perfect, um, but you know it does look like a, a, a linear upward pattern, a positive linear pattern. Next, it says if you had a 1,200 square foot house, based on the regression equation in the graph, what price would you choose to list it at? All right. Well, going back here, this is how we're going to use our regression equation here. So it's the list price for a 1,200 square foot home. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do equals, okay? And I'm giving you the X variable, the square footage. So you're gonna take 220.4 two, times 1,200, okay? In your equation, you're just plugging in for X, minus 215520. And what you're seeing here making sure I have this correct. Yep, this is this is what we're estimating that you would list the price for. It's not much, <laughs> but we're estimating based on this that you would list a 1,200 square foot home, okay, for $48,960, unfortunately. Now going back, and, and just please note that as you do the, this in your assignment, you will have different numbers. This is just for the West South Central region. Okay, going back, do you see any potential outliers in the scatter plots? Okay, and what do you think the outliers appeared in the scatter plot? Why do you think uh, the outliers appeared in the scatter plot you generated, and what do they represent? Well, when you look back at your scatter plot, outliers are uh, observations that appear a little bit out of the trend or pretty far away from your trend line. So if you look here, most of this data is like pretty close. Okay, what you're going to see here is maybe this one right here, the first data point, is an outlier. And maybe this second one here is, okay? Because they're pretty far away from the, um, from the trend line or the rest of the data. So for example, what this first one here is, I have a home that is 1685 square feet and it's listed for 234,000, right? But the regression line down here is saying it should sell for uh, about 150. Then up here, I have a home for 2118 square foot, 2118 square foot, and it's selling for, um, 358 and what you're seeing when you go down here is it's saying it should should really be selling for 250,000. So it goes back and it says, okay, why do you think outliers appear in the scatter plot you generate? Well, there's a multitude of reasons, but you remember you got to go look back in your data here and your data is getting pulled by county within this region, okay? And you know, certain counties within within states um are more desirable to live in than others, right? School districts, amenities, things like that. So maybe in this case, you just randomly sampled um, some very high expensive counties in, in this region. And what do they represent? What do outliers represent? They represent um, unusual values uh, relative to the rest of the data set. So this was just a quick run through of this. I'm gonna to put together now a sample report for you from this Excel spreadsheet so you can kind of see what your report should look like as well. And just remember, as you go to go through and do your 
project. You're going to get different numbers, right? Because you're going to randomly select data. Hopefully you select a different region. You know, I don't want people, everyone selecting the West South Central region. There's no reason to do that. Um, and I'm looking forward to reading your reports.